Welcome back to the channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Peter Dubuslo, and today's video, I'm gonna take you guys along with me setting up and capturing an interview style shoot for a documentary that I've been shooting for the last three to five months. Uh, this interview piece is one of the last pieces that I have to do for this documentary. Um, and I'm gonna take you along with me to show you the audio that I'm using, the lighting setup, and the gear as well and the whole situation from beginning to end on how to light for a documentary style shoot. So the first thing that I like to do when I get to the location is to unpack my camera gear that is uh, setting up the camera on the tripod, figuring out what lenses I'm using, the angles I'm going to be doing, and of course, black shading my camera. And the reason why I feel like black shading your camera or your sensor is very important because if you're going from a cold temperature, like outside, if you're driving and then going inside a warmer temperature room, you definitely want to get the most out of your sensor and make sure that your camera or your sensor is black shaded accordingly to the temperature in the room that you are shooting in. So after setting up the camera and black shading the sensor, the next step I'd like to figure out is what focal length I am going to be shooting on. But to figure that out, I would want to get the person that I'm doing the interview with to get in front of the lens and to figure out my angles. And then from there, I can figure out what focal length I would like to choose. In this case, I did start off with a 35 mil, but I just found out it was too wide. So then I ended up shooting on a 50 mil T 1.5. The next step is to figure out where my key light is gonna be going and how many lights I'm gonna be adding in this whole film itself. So the key light is on her right side, creating a Rembrandt lighting. And then I decided to add a Pavel tube behind her to make her stand out from the background so it didn't look like she was drowning from the background or in the background. And then I also decided to add a small rig RC60B in the back shining on the actual back wall itself in a different temperature from the key lights uh, just so it can make her stand out from the background and give that kind of separation from her and the background itself. The last important role for this documentary interview would be audio. Now I was gonna be using a boom mic set up above her to capture her talking. Uh, and that was gonna be going from an XLR to the Zoom uh, recorder, but then I didn't have time to set all that up. I was also gonna be using the DJI Mic 2 mics as a backup, but instead I just used the DJI Mic 2 as my main audio source. I had a lav going into the DJI Mic 2, and then the lav was then taped onto Erica's chest. And I just feel like having a lav onto the chest, you just get so much more bass and so much more clear audio. Uh, and then I was also actually recording directly into the DJI Mic 2. Now I was also sending a signal into the Red Gemini as well. And the Red Gemini has very good preamps but I ended up recording directly into the DJI Mic 2 as well because I can get that 32-bit float. So then if there were times if Erica would raise her voice or just talk a little bit louder than usual, I would be able to get those levels down accordingly. Ultimately this year, and I've set my goal, I repeat it to myself every day, is just getting as high as I can and being proud of it. So ultimately in the CrossFit world, that's the CrossFit Games. This is my first year, so basically I just want to be the best CrossFit athlete I can this year. Whether, if that's the CrossFit Games, that's amazing. I think that's what kind of keeps me going, 
So that's gonna wrap it up for this video. Unfortunately, I didn't have enough time to film any more behind the scenes footage. But if you guys are interested in videos like this, showcasing the whole behind the scenes of the process of camera gear, lighting, and audio, let me know in the comments below. I'll see you guys on the next one.